Eric, welcome back to the show. Morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Eric, you got me with that trailer. That sus- the suspense of that trailer. I uh, I am counting down the days. Forget the Boxing Day test. I just want to sit in a cinema and watch <laughs> the dry. When you've been lying about something for so long, it becomes second nature. Well, it is. I mean, Jane Harper's award-winning international bestseller, The Dry. You, as a producer, was this a project? Was it, did you read the book? Did you want to get involved? Were you were you behind getting it up? Yes, I'd I'd read the book, and uh, I, I share an office with the director and a very close friend of mine, Rob Connolly. And Rob just walked in one day and said, oh, "I think I'm going to direct The Dry," and I said. Well, I think I'll be in it with you then. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I just uh, twisted his arm and cast myself in the lead role, <laughs> and then uh, away we went. So, I, and I was thrilled. It was uh, it was a, it was a great opportunity. We had some great people behind it. Bruna Papandrea, who who had uh, gotten the rights to the book sometime earlier, and so we all knew each other and all wanted the same kind of end result. And away we went. And Eric, filmed here in your uh, wonderful home state, Victoria and regional Victoria. I know you were filming at the start of the year. Uh, were you impacted by, by COVID and the restrictions or had you wrapped? No, we were really lucky. So we filmed this last year before the ah. drought had broken, which, which served us really well because we, you know, an ins- essential part of the story is that this town is absolutely crippled and, and drought stricken. So we shot out in the Mallee Wimmera region of Victoria last year before the drought broke um, in, in the early part of 2019, which now we are so thrilled that we got that opportunity to mm. make the film completely uncompromised mm. in, a, in a normal environment and that we're able to, to release it now. So um, no, our timing could not have been better. Now, mate, uh, for all the diehard fans of Jane Harper's The Dry, does uh, the novel, does the movie follow the novel? Completely, very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Rob and I felt when we read the book that that it had really great cinematic potential, and one of the biggest challenges was just whilst trying to open open the story up to to be you know a big piece of cinema, being really true to the book because it had it had so many great elements to it, and the the core centre of the mystery obviously we wanted to keep intact, and we wanted to keep the uh, all of all the Jane Harper fans happy, which was you know a real a real goal of ours. There's a book called Fev in my own words. Oh, here you we want go. to have a read of that. Here we go. Um, and just have a little browse over <laughs> because I, I think know. you might be able to turn that into a movie. Oh, I don't and know you if it has probably legs. play the star. He I reckon. casts you all the time, Eric. <laughs> Do you mind if I if I'm not a producer on that one? <laughs> oh! <laughs> all my hopes and dreams have just been dashed. Oh. <laughs> Look, I think casting might be quite difficult. You might think it's easy, but you're quite a unique man, Fev. <laughs> I think it would present some casting challenges. I reckon you could nail it. <laughs> he really wants you. Um, but Eric, and I, you know, I'm not making light of this. Cinemas is one thing that I think mm. people have really missed. And I know that I uh, when that was one thing that I think a lot of people really want to get back out there and go and do now. Did You, you were locked down here in Melbourne. How has that been for you? And has it impacted any of your plans? Or was it okay for you being sort of stuck at home? <laughs> yeah, no, I sort of... I. You know, when this all broke out, I just kind of figured, well, that's work done for two years, you know. Mm. So I, I just kind of took a very, very long-term view. Um, but, you know, like everyone else in Melbourne, my swear jar was very, very full. I got a, I got a couple <laughs> of new ones in and filled them up as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a frustrating old time. But, um, you know, we're thrilled now to be at the point where, particularly because obviously every other state, their cinemas have been open, right? It was just, it was just us that was at this extreme end. Mm. So... Now that um, Victorian cinemas uh, are going to be opening up and we get a chance to share the film with Victorian audience, we're, we're thrilled because essentially, as as you mentioned, you know, we, we shot the film here in Victoria. It's very important to us that Jane's fans um, here in Victoria get to see the film. And, and so that's a great thing. Well, everyone's looking forward to getting to the movies. And this is the one that you should be starting with. It is The Dry, Eric Banner, The Dry, in cinemas on the 1st of January. And can we just say, as fans of streaming in lockdown, Dirty John, oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the amount of people that would have seen that in lockdown is, is crazy, Eric, isn't it? I mean, the numbers would have been astronomical. Yeah, the mask is quite helpful, actually. For me. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, mate. Eric Banner, The Dry, <laughs> in Thanks, cinemas guys. on Thanks the 1st of January.